new word in English that is describing the um, uh, unsettling, not being able to settle down sort of feeling, like unstable, unstable. Um, like you were up in the air and just floating, having no control over, over where you're going. Pre, uh, precary. How do you spell it? Okay. Um, precarious, not securely held or in position. Dangerously likely to fall or collapse. So this is more like being in a dangerous place where you know you're going to fall off the ground or something. Do you have anything more neutral? Because I don't, I don't want to make it too negative or too positive, you know. Well. Because I don't know, I don't know how I feel. I sit in front of my window and I don't know where I am. Like, don't you ever wonder、um, or question what you're seeing through a window? Like those trees, facades of buildings, cars passing by, sunlight. What if, what if they are just an image generated for your window, for you? Then do you still have a sense of your location? Yes, yes, I do want to go back. I think I do at least. I've been thinking about it for a really long time, honestly. But it is complicated. Like what would happen to my scholarship,、uh, my job, my apartment, and the rabbit that I'm trying to adopt. Am I still getting a bunny if I'm going back? You know?、um, I went to the、um, rescued animal shelter today, and I was I was crying so hard and so loud behind my face mask in front of a pair of guinea pigs. <laughs>、um, I didn't really know why, but at that moment I was thinking it's so good that face masks are mandatory now. So that we don't have to see how depressed everyone is. Oh, and what would happen to my visa? Am I still able to go through the border between America and China? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yes. I just realized that there's no border between America and China. There's the ocean. It is strange to think that, isn't it? Like you're going from one country to another, and it becomes a long, long departing and an extended farewell at the same time. And when you're on the way, like when you are on the way, what are you? You are neither the same person at the departure. You're kind of stuck in between, in between of any certain identity. The other day I was walking on a beach, which is like one hour drive from where I live. I find several dead birds lying on the sand. One of them is pretty dry, um, but the other ones are fairly new. They don't have any parent wood that might indicate that they were shot. They won't die from the coldness because they either fly to the south or、um, they just won't die for the same reason that human won't die from coldness. They have furs and beautiful patterns on them. They might just forgot to survive. Yes, I believe one can actually forget to survive. They say that the Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean, but when you think about it, there's only one ocean on this planet, right? Because they are all connecting. You're just floating here, not 
not sure when to land, where to land, or even whether or not there is somewhere to land. Not being able to assure, am I on my departure or on my return?